Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And if people are not happy, how come we are having now elections where UPND is sweeping everything? UPND is sweeping everything. And some fools want us to believe that, you know, uh, UPND is winning. How is it that whilst people are booing you, whilst you are getting, you are finding it difficult to go out there and you are winning elections, how? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? How is it that people are so upset? It is very clear. A lot of people are upset. A lot of people are not happy with this government. How is it that now, but when you go to elections, they are winning the elections? It is because they are rigging. And I spoke about this earlier, and people were busy, you know, whatever, jumping, ah, no, daddy, whatever, whatever. I produced a video, like always. Because in a, in that they think to number facts. I produced the videos. You have been watching those videos where those people were snatching votes in a, in, a, in a ballot box. You saw it. I put it out there. What is the defense of the UPND? In southern province, in Ukukombu, in southern province, western province, and whatever, whatever, during the 20, 2021 general elections, people could not, could not uh, uh, monitor the elections. They couldn't. Look at that, that, uh, that woman. I almost said something, but you know, I respect women. That Joyce Nguluta. Eh? You are a bitter opposition. I'm speaking. You were, eh? You were Joyce Nguluta. Didn't you see those videos of people stashing ballot papers in ballot, uh, uh, ballot papers in ballot boxes? Didn't you see? Eh? Didn't you see? Didn't you hear of, you know, uh, elect, uh, elect, election monitors being chased away from the polling station? Didn't you hear? Didn't you hear? How is that happening? I'm telling you about things that are happening. Didn't you see Kasune being, being booed? Didn't you see Edgar Lungel, uh, Haka Inde Inchilema being booed? Didn't you see Mutolopiri being booed? Eh? So where is the bitterness? This is what I'm talking about. Where is the bitterness? I'm telling you facts as they are. One fifteen, Where is the bitterness? Mule Joyce Oh. <laughs> That's why you remain with such names. You remain with such names. Pantunga Mulum Fava Joyce in Gruta, Paso, Ganam Katawa Kalishna Kasuma Paso, Ganam Katawa Kalishna, Mrs. Mrs. Mwansa, Mrs. Mulenga, but in Valavana Kasha Wolfwa. Gomoroma and Kashna Kwata last name Gruta. Watchman, but it was. Anyway, that aside, uh, so people are not happy, and there is no way people are not happy. There is no way people are going to, you know, vote for this for for UPND. UPND has been rigging elections. They rigged the elections in 2021, and they are rigging elections now. I showed you the video, but now there is this video. There is this voice conversation. There is this conversation that has come on social media. I have the video. I think I wanted. Should I play it? 
uh, anyway, I will not play it. I will not play it, but I'm sure you have heard of it. I'm sure you have heard it where this man is talking to this lady. And this lady is narrating how they voted in multiple or polling stations. How they went to vote 0-2. Election, elections, uh, polling stations open at 0-6. Polling stations, legally, elections are conducted according to the constitution. And so they open at 6 and close at 6. That is the constitution. But we heard that lady telling us that they started voting around 02. And they were moving from one polling station to the other, voting in favor of Haka Inde Ichidema, in favor of UPND. And this woman is speaking innocently, which I find very uncomfortable for the man that recorded him. As much as this evidence is good for us, it is confirming what we have been talking about, but I want to admonish this attitude of recording people in such manners. I'm telling you, this is not good. This is not good. Recording people in, in such manners, it's not good. And I'm not talking about the recording of Sylvia Masebo and the and the and uh, Tabukawana, that one is different. That one is different. Why is it different? The difference is that these are public leaders. These are public leaders. There is nothing private about a public leader. There is nothing. If I want, I can record it and release it because she's a public figure. Unfortunately, unfortunately, but for this woman. And this man, it is wrong. This is a private person. After you release that video now, then what happens? How does that lady live? I, 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 I don't even know. I'm, I'm even scared for that lady. And I pray that nothing happens to that lady. Whoever recorded that lady, that is not right. That conversation being recorded like that, that is not right. And the difference is because she's not a public figure. In a putting watch that record as much as you want, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. You can even record uh, uh, Ed Galungu. There is no problem. I have got no problem with that recording of Ed Galungu. I've got no problem. I may only have a problem depending on what he said. But Ed Galungu is a wise man. There is nothing that he he said in there which can implicate him. Whoever released that video, that, that, that conversation, was hoping that he can implicate Ed Galungu. But Ed Galungu, you know, that is also when God, you know, goes before you. When the Spirit of the Lord goes before you, you are careful with what you say. That one would have caused so much damage on Ed Galungu. On Ed Galungu. But the thing is that the thing is that publicly, public leaders must always be careful. Must always be careful. Must always be careful. But not a private person. So recording that lady, I don't agree with it. And I want to encourage people. I want to caution people. I want to, con to counsel people that please don't have this attitude of recording even innocent private conversations. It's not good. It's not good at all. It is not good. Please stop recording. I mean, I find it very strange. Even, you know, you are talking to your brother, you are talking to your sister, you are talking to your mother, you are recording. What are you recording? Why are you recording? Hey, no. And you release a recording. Honestly. What are, this is this is abusing technology. This is abusing technology. You cannot be ulefo yomu anakashi, ulefo yomu anakashi, and you record it, and later on you release it. No, 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 no. Let us protect people, because some of these things that you are bringing out, these people cannot defend themselves. 
These people cannot defend themselves. Some of these things will put people under pressure, under undue pressure. And we don't know what may follow. We don't know how they may react. We don't know how society will react. This is why you are seeing a suicide. Some of these people can cause somebody to, 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 to commit suicide. Some of these things that you are recording can cause somebody to be attacked. Some of these things that, that you are recording can cause somebody to be in problems. So stop recording, Nami Papata. Stop recording innocent conversations, particularly private conversations. Of course, I mean, that's why I said there's nothing private about a public person. But morally, even when I'm speaking to Edgar Lung, why would I be recording? Why would I be recording? I'm having a private conversation with Edgar Lung. Why should I record? Unless I'm an enemy who wants to destroy him. But of course, this is why we need to be careful when we're talking, especially as public figures. Unfortunately, when it comes to public figure, it's a different issue. But for a private person, it's worse. Don't record each other. Stop. Those uh, recordings that you have on your phones, I know some of these phones have got these, there are these apps which start recording automatically. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. Yes, record certain things that you, when you know that tomorrow I might have to explain myself. Like when a minister and a permanent secretary, they go and visit somebody. I mean, such records are important. What, do they, what, what are they discussing? What are they discussing? But anyway, that is just the, on, an, on, on an, a human point of view. But from the point of view of rigging, that conversation is another evidence of how UPND rigged the elections. They started voting 0-2. They, they are voting. And the people voted in multiple polling stations in 2021. That evidence is there. And some people were telling me, no, hey, bring it to the police and whatever. Which police? Which police? Hey, take it to court. Which court? Eh? Which court? But this is something that we know. We know that UPND rigged 2021 general elections. They rigged. Further on, they are rigging elections. They are rigging elections. The question is, what are we going to do about it? That is the issue. Because, unfortunately, in politics, there, is, there are no morality. So, I mean, if somebody has found a loophole of winning an election, including rigging, you can't expect that people will not do it. They will do it. They will do it. In politics, there are just no morality, and it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Even in America, we have heard of, you know, how elections have not gone, gone right. I remember the time uh, uh, Obama was voted in. Even during the time of Clinton, during the time of Obama, even during this time that Joe Biden was elected. I mean, even when Trump was elected, by the way, you remember there was this Russia, Russia, Russia. I mean, these are part of, this is part of politics. This is part of politics, unfortunately. The issue is you need to be alert. The people in Siavonga, they were alert. That's why they failed to rig an election in Siavonga. Because in Siavonga, the independent that stood, or the people in Siavonga, they know how they rig. They know how they rig. That's how the independent won, because the independent is one of them. So they couldn't beat them because they are among, it, it was happening amongst themselves. That's why in Siabonga an independent won, because this independent was supported by the very people that rig elections for UPND. And that's why there were confusion in, in, in Siabonga. But in these other areas, because you are sleeping, you are not countering their rigging machinery. And I'm talking about it that we need to wake up. And this is why I'm even saying PF needs to put its, its acts in order, its house in order. 
so that you can be able to counter, we will not be able to counter the rigging of elections by the UPND. If UPND, if PF is in disarray, if PF is in, is in tatters, we need to put PF in order and give it the capacity, give it the resources that is needed to start countering this rigging. Because it is not making sense that people are booing these leaders and yet when we go to elections, they are being elected. If we are not careful, this is what we will see in 2026. We will have to live here more, longer. Me, I want to come back home. I don't want to be here after 2026. So can we put our house in order? Can we start countering this rigging machinery of ECZ? Because ECZ is part of the rigging uh, scheme. That is why I'm talking about it. 2021 election, general elections, there is nothing that I can do and nobody can do anything about it. Nobody can do anything about it. It's done. But we can learn from it. What that lady is telling us, we can learn from it. And we prepare adequately to make sure that such things don't happen again. We should even make sure that uh, from the court, elections are not rigged from the court because sometimes elections are rigged from the courts. When the judges rule to say Edgar Lungu does not qualify to contest an election, that's rigging. That's rigging. So we should make sure that even at the courts, there is no rigging. And I'm praying that the judges, you know, they don't rig an election by disqualifying Haka in the, uh, Edgar Chagwalungu. We need to come up and counter these vices. Otherwise, you can't expect that Haka in the Ichinema, Akekiro Nampashwa Mushiro, and say, no, let me do clean politics. Forget it, he won't do it. He will do it and he will do it even more now that he's in power. He has even more resources because he's the president. And he has got powerful people behind him. So we need to counter this from the, from the opposition point of view and from the citizenry point of view. We need to learn how is it that, how do they steal these elections? How do they rig elections? Currently, there is voter, there is voter registration, there is NRC registration. Who is being registered? Who is being registered? How did those people who were voting from different polling stations, how did they register? These are some of the things that we need to be looking at to make sure that the next time we are going to have elections, at least it can have some semblance of free and fair general elections. Otherwise, it's a problem. It's a problem. And it, they are making no apologies. Like Levin Goma himself said, I make no apology. Whoever stands in between whatever, Haka in the Ichilema, will be crushed. They have no apologies. And he's saying it, no apology. This is the presidential political advisor, a civil servant for that matter. By the way, a civil servant, much as you are a political advisor, you are not supposed to engage in political activities. You are a political advisor, but you are not supposed to engage in political activities. It is not for the political advisor to go and stand on a podium and start organizing structures of the party. No. That guy is paid by taxpayers' money. He's paid by all of us, not just not, not, not uh, UPND. So if Lady Ngoma wants to, to, you know, to do those politics, let him have a position in UPND and organize those structures and get paid by UPND. Not to go and be paid by taxpayers money and you say I make no apologies for doing party politics I mean this is how they have adulterated you know governance these UPND they have really adulterated the uh, 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 governance where even Tabukawana I mean these are civil servants Tabukawana is 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 PS PS information but look at his conduct. Look at the last interview that he had with uh, uh, at, at, at Damon. Eh? Look at his conduct. Look at, I mean, how he comes out. We have these cutters, cutters who, 
uh, who have become civil servants on top of professional the technocrats you know and they are, they are the ones who are now leading the technocrats imagine Tabo Kawan leading they have taken out all the professionalism it is totally out taken out and you have leaving Goma standing up and talking like that and on the, on the other hand JJ is saying this is the guy that abducted me because they wanted information from me they wanted information about Ed Galungu. And he's going to police to report to say, I've been, I've been defamed. Honestly, look at Levi Goma's statement. Look at Levi Goma's statement. How can Levi Goma, from the way he spoke, how can he justify him going to, to, to police and say, I've been defamed? How can he say, no, JJ is lying? Because JJ has been crushed. They were crushing JJ when they abducted him. Had we not spoken, JJ would have been gone. JJ comes out, they throw him muscle, moon and can prison. They have crushed him. They are crushing everybody. I'm here. This is part of being crushed. This is part of being crushed. It's by the grace of God that I'm here and I'm, able, I'm, I'm still talking. Otherwise, if I were in the country, I would not even have an opportunity to speak to my, even to my family. They are crushing everyone. How many opposition leaders have been, have been to jail? How many opposition leaders are candidates for jail today? They are crushing everyone. That is their modus operandi. That is the way that they are found of keeping Haka Inde Ichirema in, in power. It is crushing people. Even Ed Galungu coming back into, into politics, it has become a crime. It has become a crime. How is it a crime that Ed Galungu wants to do politics? How is it a crime? No, what he did, what he did, we cannot allow him. Let the people reject him. Let the people reject him. It's not up to you. Let him do the politics. At the end of the day, if people don't want him because of what he did, that is another story. It is not for you to say, no, 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 no. Hey, a Karaka father. Hey, a Karaka father. Hey, we are going to castrate him. Uh -uh. And at the end of the day, you want to claim that you are leading a government better than PF. You are leading a government that has brought peace. Which peace? Which peace have you brought? People are being abducted. People are being tortured. People are being insulted. They are being abused. And you say you have brought, you have brought peace. What peace have you brought? Nonsense. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.